I want us to stand up wherever we are to honor our God. So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels and a thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand she asses. He had also seven sons and three daughters. And he called the name of the first Jemima, and the name of the second Kezia, and the name of the third Karen Hapok. And in all the land where no women found so fair as the daughters of Job. And their father gave them inheritance among their brethren. After this, lived Job an hundred and forty years, and saw his sons, and his sons' sons, even four generations. So Job died, being old and full of days. God is here today to restore back unto us all we have lost into the hand of COVID-19. And if you believe so, I want you to go with us in this service as God will be ministering to us today. This is the promise of God. Even if you are inside worshiping your God, he will bring all we have lost back to us. We will be back to our churches to gather together to worship God. But where you are, let your heart be in tune with the Lord Jesus. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, we are grateful this morning for giving us another opportunity to gather together. Lord, we thank you. We may be two or three or maybe ten according to the rules that we are following today because of the trouble of coronavirus. We thank you because no one can separate families before your presence. No one can drive families away from your presence. We are in your presence worshiping you again this morning as families as a group. Lord, we thank you because of this opportunity. Accept our thanks and praises in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because we are here again to thank you for all you did for us last week. We received so many benefits of heaven. We enjoyed your goodness. We enjoyed your provision. We enjoyed your protection. Lord Almighty, we are indeed very grateful. It's only you that can do all this. And that is the reason why we are returning all glory unto you for all you have done for us again. Accept our thanks and praises in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord Eterna, as we gather this morning, we pray, Lord Jesus, that we be in our midst to bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless our soul, bless our spirit, and bless our body, so that even your word, we hear your people who are sick wherever they are this morning in Jesus' name. The word will be sent out and we heal them. Your word will bring back all we have lost to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh God Almighty, we will be able to say at the end of this problem, of this pandemic, that even when people are saying they are cast down, we will be saying we are lifted up. So Father, we pray, when we shall come out of this trouble, you will lift us up. We shall recover all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Be in our midst this morning. Bless us, O God. Let your glory descend upon your son and all that are going to minister to people today in your word. And in every service we are going to hold today, your name shall be glorified and your people shall be blessed. Blessed be your name. As we dedicate this service unto you, we sanctify our homes and wherever we are gathering to worship you this day, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In spite of our physical disability, God used her to write more than 8,000 hymns to God be the glory, praise him, praise him, Jesus, our blessed Redeemer, and many others. As we join our voices together to praise God, God will do great things. COVID-19 will disappear, and God will do great and marvelous things in our lives. I 
encourage everyone to rise up with me and join their voices as we sing that great hymn of praise. Praise him, praise him, Jesus, a blessed redeemer. <laughs> God this morning. 
I want you to pour out your heart unto him who is able to save and deliver. The same one who is able to bring back all that is lost and even give more in abundance. To him alone be all praises, honor, and adoration forever. Oh, my God. 
Yeah. 